everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Welcome back to Let's Play Outer Wilds Blind. Okay. Is that... That's like the sun station or something. Ugh. Stupid thing that I thought was the thing I needed to pay attention to, but it wasn't. Ugh. Okay, here it comes. Is it coming at us? Not quite. I think this might actually be perfect. Now it's perfect. Okay. <laughs> Let's get out. And now we have a point of reference. Perfect. Now what we want to do is go like this way, right? If we see the thing coming over the horizon, we can just get out of the way. That's weird. How did I get so off of the... Off of the thing I'm trying to do here. There we go. Man, the interloper really comes close, huh? Okay, now we're directly chasing it. So, like, there, there should be no excuse for us to miss anything. And we should be able to make it somewhere where there are trees, hopefully. Before we run out of oxygen. If we run out of oxygen, though, so be it. It is kind of cool watching the Ember Twin do what the Ember Twin does. That is kind of neat. I mean, it is a great dynamic for this planet, but... Okay, here we go. Cool. Neat! I don't know that we're supposed to be in here. Cool. Some time has passed since I checked in with you, Pi. How are your ideas progressing with the sun station? Plans. Presently, my assessment is that our plan will either fail explosively or succeed explosively. Okay. Yeah, Pi, you know I don't find that funny. I think I've read this before. Time spent away from the station would be beneficial to you both. I'm immensely interested in testing your hypothesis, Yaro. That at least we can agree on. How curious, Rami thinks I'm a gas, and I don't recall requesting that you monitor this conversation. I don't see what state of matter you are has to do with this, but I don't recall supporting the sun station's construction, but here we are. Okay, sun station, sun station, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so that's how low the sand has gotten. We're up here, we're having this conversation. There's that teleporter that I, I don't seem to be able to get to. This is where I got killed by cacti, I believe. No, 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 no. Fall back down, fall back down, fall back down. Fair enough. Okay. All 
All right. Cool. We're getting there. Kinda. I think this is that building that teleported us, right? Okay, a good, a, a reasonable jump gets us there. We'll pick up the scroll. We'll take it into that other bit, that other building. But we will avoid. Ugh. We'll avoid getting sucked into the. All right. Lacking oxygen. Oh, interesting. Do I have to go in through the other side? Maybe? I don't remember. I don't remember how I got in here. I was just in here, though. Oh, I did. Ha I did go through this. This thing here. Perfect. No, I wanted to drop the scroll. I'm gonna pull the scroll out. Then I wanna drop this scroll. Pick the scroll up, put the scroll in. Read this writing. Have I read this writing before? Planning the action project at the high energy lab on Ember Twin I became lost in Ember Twin, my gratitude that Raimi found me, but the high energy lab is the building with large solar panels. I'm surprised I didn't see it. I imagine our otherwise immensely clever Kanoi would lose his own head if it were anatomically impossible. Uh, okay, that didn't help me at all. Oh, why did I do that? I really wanted to stay on the bridge, because I need to find the place with trees. Because otherwise I'm going to die. Cacti don't count as trees. Well, there's my ship. Perfect. The ship will work. Ship has some slight damage, apparently. But I don't care about that. I can beat it. Don't want to step on that. Cacti are kind of a jerk move. Okay, so this is the building with the broken thing, right? Wait a minute now. Interesting. Because... But how am I supposed to get through there? Because there's a teleporter. To get to the, t the top. I mean, I can tell that there is. But I can't get in there.
Yeah, there's a teleporter in there. Does it go through from a lower level? Ugh. Well, that thing's a coming. Huh. Because I can't imagine, I can't walk, I can't walk through here. I mean, even if the sand's up. Maybe I can. Maybe I, maybe, like, there's a path as the sand goes down that I can walk through. To get me to the top floor of this place. Like, it's a pretty cool idea, actually. That's the way they set this up. Okay, so is this like the ground floor? Is the, or is there a way in here? Does the teleporter go all the way up from the basement? That's the other question. No, there is no basement. There's just, like, rock. This whole planet just, like, empties out. Huh. Well, to, then to do that, what I'm gonna have to do... is get here like right away. I also need to check out, like, is there a structure below this? Like that I can get to? Like, I mean, we're just gonna have to hang out here and check out what's going on. I was like, all oh, this rock is fun and stuff, but. So, to get there really quickly, though, I'm going to have to know exactly where it is. And, uh, that's not going to be easy. Like, it's really not going to be easy. Because I can't really leave, like, a record or anything. From life to life. Three minutes of oxygen. Yeah, of course, of course. Why wouldn't I run out of oxygen? If I really want to know what's going on here, I probably have to land my ship like right next to it and really wait it out. There's a lot going on here, like a ton. There's just a ton going on here. I mean, we can watch the sand go down, but I just have a feeling I'm not going to have enough time to see anything meaningful at the bottom of this with the amount of oxygen I have left. But two minutes is fine. Two minutes is perfect for a video. So, uh, I mean, there's a couple possibilities here, but if, if that's the answer, if the answer is you have to get here right away and you have to land, like, right at the top of that building and get in the door as soon as possible and then run through the cacti to get to the teleporter to get to the top, um, I mean, there must be something, you'd hope there's something really important there, right? That would be the, that would be the hope, is that they wouldn't make you do all that for nothing. But this game is kind of like that. This game kind of makes you jump through these crazy hoops for kind of nothing. I don't even know, like, I, I, there, it hasn't even given me any kind of hint that there's a good solution to the problem. Like, the problem being the sun going supernova, right? Well, this thing is really big and impressive, but... So from here, I can see that other building, but this, none of this makes a lot of sense. This is pretty much at the south pole. 60 seconds back. I mean, from here, I can kind of see everything, right? Because, like, just... My ship is on the other side of the planet. <laughs> uh, this almost looks like it's just an antenna, though. Which can't be right. I mean, it's getting wider at the base. So maybe I am... Maybe I'm not barking up the wrong tree here. 
The sun, however, is getting uh, scary. <laughs> it might never let itself get, you know, the sun might, the sun might create a very effective time limit to seeing what's at the bottom of this. Or this might be the bottom. No, it's still going. And I can see it here, right? But here we go. I'm I'm dying. <laughs> Every time I die. I just want one run where I don't die. Is that too much to ask? Yeah, vertical sandwich. It's against the entire structure of the game. Oh, okay. Well, fine then. Fine. All right. Ah, uh, jeez. Okay, so we're going to try. At least if I find that building after the time is gone, I can kill myself on the cacti. Right? So, yeah. So what we'll do is we'll wake up and pause right away. So we don't waste any time. 